Gut. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Hey, hey, hello, coucou, bonjour, salut, how are you, welcome or welcome back to my channel, my name is Cyril, I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients and today's video is going to be about how to heal your skin barrier, when your skin is like basically damaged when you are applying any product and your skin is just burning, you have like sensitivity, your skin is super dry, feels always dehydrated and flaky and etc. So basically all those signs uh, means that your skin barrier is impaired. So in this video, I'm going to tell you basically what you should do to heal your skin barrier when this is happening. So this video is going to be like in two parts. The first part is first of all to try to understand why do you have an impaired skin barrier and I'm basically going to give you like two main reasons, almost three actually. Um, and at the end of this video I will basically give you like a simple routine or I should say like product that you can use to really help to um, heal your skin basically. So first thing first, why do you have an impaired skin barrier? This could be due to, I would say sort of two to three um, things. First thing first, this is because this is your skin type. In a way, some people can have extremely sensitive skin. This is just something that is constitutional most of the time. And this is why I almost say like, three types, it's because it is also associated with a medical issue with your skin, like certain type of rosacea, psoriasis, um, and etc. It also could be um, eczema. Of course, for those type of uh, medical issues, do not go to me, go and consult a dermatologist. This is very important that you see like a doctor that can tell you you have this eczema, you have this pathology, you have this type of rosacea and etc because they are the one that could help you. This being said, all the product that I'm going to show you uh, today will be compatible with those skin um, issue, of course. The second thing is that you have simply induced the impairment of your skin barrier, which is, I believe, the most common um, one. This is, could be due to, uh, again, several things. First thing first, simply an overuse of active. I think this is the most common one, uh, especially with certain actives. Lots of people do not know, for example, how to use retinol, retinaldehyde, or even tretinoid. So basically they inflame like crazy the skin and the skin bar is completely like messed up, super thin, super impaired. So basically all the product that you are going to put on your skin will reach the lived cell. So underneath your skin uh, barrier and etc. The other thing is simply um, sensitization towards ingredients, either because you are allergic to one ingredient or you are sensitive. So this is not like a proper allergic reaction, but you do have an inflammation response from your skin. So this could be due to certain ingredients, of course. I mean, the most common one, they are always the same. They are perfume, especially certain perfume, even though they are a fragrant components that are less uh, allergenic than others, but always this is hard to know uh, which one are or not, which is also why I tend to promote uh, fragrance-free product. Essential oils, I mean, essential oils, they are so, so well known <laughs> to trigger irritation. A derivative of essential oils in the form of citronellon, um, geranium, it also could be citral, uh, and etc. I mean, there are a ton of uh, fragrant components that can irritate your skin or simply like one specific ingredient, which is why I always invite you that when you want to introduce a new product into your routine, just introduce one product at the time and give at least two to three days to know how your skin is going to react. If it is an active, like a sort of exfoliant, a vitamin C, uh, of course, a retinol gives sometimes to build a tolerance and make sure that you understand what you are putting on your skin, which is why I always emphasize with like the science of this specific active um, ingredient like retinol. I have talked so much about retinol. Same thing with vitamin C, same thing with all the exfoliant uh, acid and etc. It's very important for you to know how they work and how they are going to impact your skin. So like this, you can say, oh, I have had just this ingredient because I've, I've used it, like for example, this acid every single day. This is way too much for my skin. Now my skin barrier is impaired. So every day is too much for me. I need to do it um, two to three days. Um, Per week. The last thing is, of course, the very problematic issue by combining patent active with, of course, um, perfume 
alcohol and essential oils because you can just increase the sensitization and at the end you don't know if it is just from the perfume just from the active from the mix and etc i mean a mess a mess so if your skin barrier is impaired first thing first is why try to understand why is it too much of active is it fragrance and etc most of the time when uh, i make a routine for someone and i tell them stop using a uh, fragrant product what i mean is by leave on product that like a face cream a lotion and etc all the products that you are going to leave on your skin skip perfume maybe not uh, on your sunscreen almost every time people just have better looking skin at the end so it is just safer also stop all your actives please no more vitamin c no more excellent acid no more um retinol no more um tretinoin and etc just give some time for your skin to heal because in reality uh, the whole routine will be focused on being very gentle and also helping your skin like to keep the moisture in protect your skin from the uv and basically that's it this is your skin that will like uh, repair itself and you are just going to help your skin basically to uh, cope with it now in terms of a simple uh, routine i'm going to recommend you some products that are definitely suitable when your skin is like completely inflamed impaired and etc they are very gentle they are all fragrance free they don't contain alcohol they don't contain essential oils and etc and they will just help your skin to cope with it and to repair itself uh, faster you need to do this routine for at least a week to almost two weeks and then you can still use those uh, same product and reintroduce one at the times so you active but don't all of them please and when you start to see like a little bit of sensitization you say okay this is too much for me okay so now let's start with cleansing your skin you know me i always recommend double cleansing your skin so a product that i should talk way way more often is simply the makeup cleansing gel from curel this one oh simply incredible this one is like perfection very very gentle so it comes like a gel you massage it and it's going like to turn into this beautiful beautiful oil very gentle on the skin it rinses like a charm another possibility is simply the clinic take the day off i mean i've already talked about this one i adore this one very luxurious uh very luxurious very a luxe feel about it i mean love this product very very gentle it's not going to strip your skin and etc in terms of a water-based cleanser you know my love with the extremely gentle lotion from Avin. this one super duper um, gentle now let's move on to hydration this is something that is very important because when your skin barrier is like completely messed up it is very dry dehydrated so you need to build the layer um, i would not necessarily recommend hyaluronic acid in this period if for one good reason is because the low molecular weight the extra low molecular weight so below 50 kilo dalton i have a video about it if you want to know more about it could be uh, pro-inflammatory so you want to avoid this so i have two products for you the first one is the curel the lotion which is mainly based on glycerin there is an eucalyptus extract in this one this is not fragrant so don't be alarmed by it it is very very gentle on the skin but very hydrating so this one is um, an absolute must another one which is also a japanese one this is from iada this is the medicated uh, lotion again this one is glycerin based extremely gentle uh, simple formula but very very efficient and you can do like couple of layers if your skin is super duper impaired and you want to be a little bit bougie you can use the matricium from bioderma so it comes in those small um dose those doses <laughs> so you crack one open and you use a full dose so what you can do is to use half in the morning half um in the evening but don't keep it for more than a day because this is sterile there is no preservative um, this one is amazing to repair the skin so what you do double cleanse in the evening then you use uh, one of those two lotion then the matricium and now it is time to moisturize your skin i have four moisturizer to show you the first one which is a sort of staple for me i always like to have it around is this one from aderma this is not a brand new one uh, i mean this is not a new product from aderma this is a really well-known one this is the skin care cream the nourishing in french it is the creme de soin this one is loaded with oat to the point, I don't know the concentration, but when you smell it, it smells a little bit like 
oat. Really, really well done. Yeah, it smells like oat. I really like it. The texture is also um, really, really lovely. Uh, just to keep in mind, this one would be perfectly uh, for those of you who have normal to slightly dry skin. For very dry skin, it won't be enough. If you do want to introduce oat, which is a beautiful ingredient to heal the skin, you will need to add another moisturizer. Speaking of this, simply the milk from Curel. Again, beautiful, um, beautiful. You can also simply use this combo, the Adama and then the milk, or first the milk and then the Adama. It does not really matter. Another one also, if you like to have something that is very fresh, but at the same time, very moisturizing, the Iada, the milk, ooh la la, this one, again, very moisturizing, very, very pleasant. So it is um, a milk that feels almost like a sort of gel lotion, it's very watery, as you can see. Feels almost like you are putting like a light hydrating lotion, but it is going to be hydrating like crazy, which I really love. Another French product that I also adore that has been beaten by my dog. It's the Sika Bio Restore from Bioderma. Also this one, simply incredible. The texture also is really well done, which I really, really um, like. This is something that not happens a lot with uh, French pharmacy uh, product. This one is really tailored for those of you who have um, dry skin. If you feel that your skin is super, super dry, the Sika Restore is lovely, but the, the texture, oh Lord, this texture is so, so good. Of course, the last step, especially for the morning, is sunscreen. People, so I'm going to show you sunscreen that are most likely compatible with super impure skin. So the first two, they are simply from uh, Purito. I have a whole video dedicated to those two. You, the first one is the Santella Green Level and Satin Sun, no white cast. So this one, for those of you who don't want a white cast, this is the one to choose. Another alternative is simply uh, the mineral one, the Comfy Water. Of course, they are all SPF 50 plus, by the way and PI rating of four pluses. Uh, those one for every day, they would be uh, perfect. The mineral one does have a white cat. This is not the strongest one on the planet. Another alternative, which is a recent one, this is simply the Keep Cool, the Soothe Bamboo Sun Essence, also fragrance free. This one is also a great alternative. This one is based on Tears of S and Juvenal Atlas. So this one is also a good alternative to the unscented uh, sun. The only issue with this one is that from time to time, it can balls. Uh, up it did several of time uh, on me so just be aware of this um, another one that is 100% mineral most likely it will be more protective than the comfy water but the white cast is also there this is the Ines free the triple care it does have a perfume but I want to feature it because if you have uh, sensitive skin and you have trouble to find a good mineral sunscreen this one is a pretty good one that most likely is um, uh, protects well the skin from uh, the sun. The texture is really, really well done. Be careful because mineral sunscreen, they can be drying. So the Comfy Water and the Ines Free, the Triple Care, those one could be a little bit drying on um, the skin. The last one, without any surprise, this is the Glorious P20 Sun Care for Kids. By the way, P20, you should pay me <laughs> for this because I don't earn any dime. This is not even an affiliate link that I'm going to post, but the P20 Sun Care for Kids, I mean, you cannot dream of a better sunscreen, especially for the UV protection above 50. I mean, I'm just living for it. So basically that's it. I mean, the lesson of today is why do you have an impaired skin barrier? Most likely it's because you have induced it. So just take some time to reflect on what you have been using and how you have been using them because this is something very important. So basically that's it for today. I hope you did enjoy this video and of course give it a thumbs up. If you are new, consider to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell. I have two Instagram accounts, one in English, one in French. All the links are down below. Thank you so, so much for your precious time. And well, I will see you next time. Au revoir.